He's Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski for EA Sports, set to bring you what should be a fun one here tonight. Not only are there two points up for grabs as a team, but it's also a bit of an audition for every player as well tonight, isn't it? Anytime you're playing a game in the American League, you're not playing just for your team or just for the team that owns the team you're playing. You're playing for everyone. You want somebody to notice that you've got a chance to be an NHL player. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Wolves start with possession as we are now underway. That goes wide. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Just misses. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still no score in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Takes the pass. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Bishop's lugging the puck. Nice pass. The Wolves are in transition. Henderson's got a hold of it against the wall. The Wolves get a hold of it. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Dance is able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Nice job tying up his opponent. Takes control of the puck. Takes a shot, nothing. Most dangerous place on the... He scores! It's in, and I believe that's his first. Congratulations, his first goal. I don't think anybody expects much offense from him, but it's still got to feel good. right there James that pass is on the tape but he doesn't stop and he one times it into the net the Wolves were preaching good start before this one and they've done that so far what a great start for them they get aggressively after it in the first Five minutes of this period, and they're rewarded with a goal. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Here's a chance! Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Henderson's got the puck along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Forsling's got it in the offensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. Back to the point it goes. The Silver Knights take possession in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery, he got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. The Wolves get a hold of the puck along the boards. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he takes a shot, takes that one right in the logo. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice feed from the right wing. The Silver Knights move to the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Stays with it, turns it away. Dead center, excellent save. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. one nothing to score. The Silver Knights win it. Puck picked up by Murphy. 
Here's an offensive chance. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From the blue line, they take control of it. Receives the pass. Denies him! Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Off target! Looks to set up at the point now. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. A chance right in front. Denies him in close. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. The Wolves take it across the line. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Through center along the wing. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Grabs it in his own end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Nice poke check. Can't connect. The Silver Knights have it against the wall. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Puts it in deep. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. Sends the pass over. Moving to the middle. Chris one. And that one's blocked. The Wolves gain possession along the wall. Just wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Denies him. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Pokes it away in his own end. Manages to hang on. Centering pass. That goes off the stick. He scores. And I believe that's his first career goal. You bet it is. And while he's not a player expected to score, it's still a pretty darn nice accomplishment for him to get. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. The centermen glide into position. Official period number one is in the books. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed along with the teams. We're ready to get things underway. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Silver Knights are pretty fortunate that this game is still tied. They really haven't generated much of anything offensively yet. Henderson's got it in their own zone. Yurko swooping in on the attack. Henderson's got the puck against the wall. From behind the net. And he easily stops that one. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Henderson's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone through the middle. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Quick snap, stopped by the goaltender. Denies him again. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Up the neutral zone now. And he comes up with it. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Slides the puck over. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Chicago's got possession here in the neutral zone. From his own end, he picks up the puck. 
Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Moves it on over to McGinn. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Takes a shot. Not even close. Not close to anything. The net's been the same size for a hundred years. Can't find his man. Chicago's looking to break out. Slides the puck across. The Wolves take it across the blue line. From the point, looks to make something happen. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We got a tie game. Chicago's won the faceoff. Handles the puck. Here's a chance, and makes the save. The Silver Knights will play it in their own end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Maintains possession. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Silver Knights are being called for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Well, here's our first power play of the game. You'd love to score on your first one if you get the chance because that helps the power play become more confident. More confident always means more successful. Trying to get it out, and they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Moves it around along the half wall. Henderson's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Chicago's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Over the line they come. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. Trying to dump it out. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. McCormick's going to play it against the half wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Let's it go! Denies him in front! Here's the chance to set up now. Oh, and headhunting there. I think he did. Man, that thing is way over top of the net. From point blank, scores! He's on the board! It doesn't seem like much, James, but it's amazing at the start of a year how no goals in three games, four games, five games starts to weigh heavy on a player. He's in the bumper position in the middle of the slot. They move the puck around to find him in the middle, and he makes no mistake. The Wolves are up by one here in the second. I've liked a lot of their game, but it's like they can't get these other guys to go away. It stays close, but at least they're playing from in front. No, oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Pumped off the puck, pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Here's a shot! Denied by the goaltender. The shooter really laid into his deep, but the goalie's like reading a children's book. He knew exactly where to be. The Wolves have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Henderson's got it across the line. The Wolves gain control of the puck against the wall. And he gains the zone here. The Silver Knights get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nice zone entry from the left. Pokes the puck away. Here's a shot stopped by the goaltender. The Wolves continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Scoops up the puck off the draw. 
The Wolves take it along the wall. Chicago's on the attack. Dumps it into the Ozone. Henderson's gained possession along the boards. The Silver Knights look to start the transition game. And now he angles it across to Yurko. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Big play inside the defensive zone. Centered out in front, takes a shot, and that goes off course wide. Strong defensive effort, hangs onto the puck. Gives them nothing in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Quick work, he makes one and two saves in a row. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Chicago's got it, and they're on the attack. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and vlogs on our team website. New content is added daily. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Henderson's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. They've got the defense outnumbered. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. The Wolves take it along the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a shot. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. The Wolves have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Taken along the wall by Bishop. Here he is in front. Big save. Dink's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Lots of time left in this period. Chicago's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Wolves will go to work here in the offensive zone. From one point man to another. McCormick's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Takes the feed and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Up along the wing. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Wolves looking against the half wall. Unloads one. Too much traffic in the lane. Grabs control of it at the point. Stopped by the goaltender. Dink's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've got a 2-1 game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Chicago's on the attack. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Wolves loom as the next date for these guys when they're back on the ice. You'd be surprised at how many players don't know the schedule. They just know the really? team they're playing tonight. Oh, yeah, and they don't know who's coming next. Moves the puck. And that pass goes awry. The Silver Knights have it from their own end. Takes the pass. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And it's a quick pass to McGinn. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Here he is in front! Stopped by the goaltender. 
Chicago's got a hold of the puck. And they fail to go tape to tape. Here he is, wristed on net, denies it in front. Dansk's play has been outstanding tonight. From the time the puck hit the ice, he's been locked in. Great save percentage, and he's a reason they're close in this game. The Wolves have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves right to the middle. Rips it. Here he is on the redirect. His reflexes on display tonight. Keeps hold of the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Nice pass. Pass right on the doorstep. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goal. Now. Chicago's got the puck now. The Wolves are on the attack. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Good battle along the boards for the puck. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Silver Knights are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. <laughs> Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Wolves move it ahead. From one end of the blue line to the other. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Chicago's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Lecisions won a big draw on their own end. Trying to get it down the ice. And mission accomplished, Ray. Yeah, late in the game, it's defensive blue line, puck out. Offensive blue line, puck in. Nothing turned over at those two spots. Excellent stick work on the play. And that skips away. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. good work on the power play they move the puck around get a quality shot but it's the traffic in front of the net that makes the difference here in the late going of the frame Chicago's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes leading by two face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Lorenz picking up steam. The Wolves carried along the wall. Here he is from the slot. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Henderson's moving the puck through center ice. Here's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Late in this game, that might be their best chance to score. He just doesn't capitalize. Back to the blue line. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Forsling. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Silver Knights get a hold of it. With possession along the wall. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Through the neutral zone. A chance to end it. Misses. The Silver Knights get a hold of the puck along the boards. Henderson's moving it into the offensive end. That pass goes a little sideways. Oh, the minister of defense with the block. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Chicago's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. 
Chicago's across the blue line. And that should do it as he puts it into the empty net. You ever notice how nobody ever really celebrates an empty net goal, but inside they're like, yes, I scored. I'm thinking you probably partied for your two. All of them. <laughs> now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Chicago's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Henderson's won the draw. On the attack along the boards. A chance in front, and the play continues. Moves it to Bishop. Nice zone entry on the left side. Puts it towards the net. Oh, puts it wide. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. When you're in a losing streak, you go to the rink and you think to yourself, I hope we can win tonight. They haven't found a way to get over that hope to knowing that they can win. You've been in situations like that on good teams. Oh, What's yeah, that no, like? I've been on that situation on bad teams, too. You know you're going to lose. How do you lose. get out of it, though? You just play, and hopefully you do enough to overcome whatever mistakes you're going to make during the game. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.